trade war tariffs, how a Trump election would change tech. Um, and it says tech, but it's about e-commerce as well. If elected, Trump's proposed tariffs could reshape the tech landscape, hitting companies like Apple, semiconductors, and Chinese e-commerce platforms. Apple may be forced to move more production to the USA due to increased tariffs on Chinese imports, driving up costs. Semiconductors crucial to tech production could see sustained tariffs regardless of the election outcome with bipartisan support for protecting U.S. access. E-commerce giants like Shine and Temu might face tariff hikes or even bans, which could shift consumer options on platforms like Amazon. For Amazon sellers, these potential changes could lead to higher prices on goods sourced from China and an alternate altered competitive landscape. So definitely big. Of course, we all know by now that Trump did win. So these kind of changes are all but assured to, to happen. Um, so in a couple things that I just wanted to highlight, and then I'll start getting your guys' opinions. Um, but obviously, uh, this is going to affect Shine and Temu and Amazon's low-cost store quite a lot because as Trump has said, he's looking at potentially imposing 20% imports on everything or tariffs on everything and 60% on China, possibly. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump over to uh, Danan first. What are your thoughts on uh, Trump and tariffs with e-commerce? So I'm I'm torn on this. One, one thing, I, I think that I don't think there's going to be a 20% on all tariffs if this goes in, right? I think I'm going to assume 10%, right? And if you did do a 10% on tariffs, I did a little bit of research on this and the average household would spend roughly $4,000 more per year, four to $6,000 more per year on what they're already spending on, right? If there was a 10% tariff enacted on all goods. Um, with that said, if if the because Trump, I think, also proposed that he remove all income tax. Now, correct. I, I don't like. Don't get me wrong. I'd freaking love that, but maybe he'll be shot at again for that. Who knows? But this, <laughs> you know. But if that did happen, if both of these things happened, then the average household would keep ten grand, but spend four to six more, so they would end up having four to eight thousand dollars more something is my math right on that no it's not but they would end up with thousands dollars more oh, six grand, i think you said ten thousand more four thousand less so that'd be yeah. six thousand extra yeah. Yeah. average yeah so four to, i guess my math was right go me so they'd end up with a net positive but you know for those of us that are e-com sellers importing from these places especially china especially if a super high tariff is enacted on that that ain't good for us, right? Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, my goods are made in America, so I don't have to worry about it, but I sure as heck would if I were still do still importing from China, you know? I mean, but at the same time, like if you look at the upstream, probably 90% of the materials that, your manufacturer in America Come uses to manufacture mm -hmm. comes from China. Very so regardless, you pay for it. Uh, I will say on this, like I don't have any opinions like politically, but I think Trump comes from a business background yeah. and he has proven himself as a business person to be very successful. So I will assume that he will keep that record straight and that the decisions that he's making and will make or whatever he passes will make sense in the long term. And sometimes I feel this type of news are very uh, useful to create, um, panic. I guess, yeah, panic, terror and, mm -hmm. you know, more separation between the people that think that they, you know, you shouldn't change things. So. I don't, I don't know if we need to worry. Um, I do think that it is important, and this is not because of Trump winning the election, but since COVID, 
there's been a massive emphasis on look other other places to manufacture your mm -hmm. products because you don't want to have a single point of failure. So when you have a single point of failure, it means that there is only one place where you can source, then that is, you know, a problem. If at some point, you know, something like a 60% tariff will get enacted, like that's insane. So mm -hmm. I, I believe it's our work as sellers to just branch out and try to look for opportunities, even, even if you don't act on it, even if you don't start, you know, taking uh, order or making orders to a supplier in Vietnam, you should have a supplier elsewhere. Yeah, it's so, just in your back yeah. pocket. Yeah. Yeah. For that sure. was something that I always considered when I was a seller. So I was importing from China. And then I did start to look towards other countries like Vietnam just to have that secondary source. I remember one of the things that I think we're kind of skipping, you brought up the abolishing of the income tax system. Now that mm -hmm. is something that does not happen overnight. And sure. I remember when he was in power last time, it was kind of a shoot first, ask questions later kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. So I could see these tariffs coming in very quickly mm -hmm. without an actual plan on the other side, on the income tax side of things to yeah. offset those higher costs. Yeah, that's that's would be the recipe for disaster is if you didn't keep any more money and you just like after COVID, stuff went up 50, 40, 50, 200 percent. You know, my my grocery bill is, I think, double what it was. Mm -hmm. If that right. happened again, then my children would eat me bankrupt. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's uh, you know, I'm I'm torn on this because uh, politically, I consider myself more libertarian than anything. So, you know free markets, free trade, all that kind of stuff in a perfect world is what I would prefer. Unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. And, you know, China is heavily subsidizing everything that it does when it comes to trade. So it's not, you can't have one side, the United States doing free trade, and then the other side doing heavily subsidized and controlled trade, mm -hmm. the one doing the free trade kind of gets hosed in that situation. So yeah. whether whether the how high the tariffs go, I think depends on the the country. Trump is probably going to use them as a weapon more than anything, or like, negotiating no, tool. Negotiating, mm -hmm. yeah. So you know, China. You're going to keep messing around, trying to to um, uh, mess with other countries, um, working with Russia, trying to mess with the Philippines and uh, take uh, uh, Taiwan. Taiwan, sixty percent tariffs. There you go, and that's the threat, right? Instead mm -hmm. of we're going to attack you, the threat is we're going to put these tariffs on you, which I think is a lot better than yeah. going to war with someone. Yeah, Char -char hopefully. It doesn't make, have to happen. Yeah. I'd rather Even, make China pay all their gas money for, for their war machines than actually use them against each other. Correct. You know, uh, I think I'm down that, in Canada and Canada, we're talking about how Canada is going to be impacted by these as well, right? Like we're your biggest trade neighbors and mm -hmm. we're even talking about tariffs coming our way. And we just re renegotiated the U.S. Uh, and what is NAFTA? It, US, yeah, it's not NAFTA anymore. It's USCAM. Oh, uh, they they named it something else. But, oh, great! Shows what I and, know. Yeah, and uh, we're talking about how it's gonna like we're the we're US is our biggest trade partner, and we're talking about how it's gonna impact us. And he's gonna make an example out of someone, mm -hmm. right? He's gonna try to make that example out of someone to show that he is the businessman in the room that he can get these deals done. And who's gonna be the victim is is gonna be the question. He's gonna pick out someone. And they'll get the short end of the stick, I think. And then yeah. after that, I think everyone will kind of be like, oh, you know what? He is for real. We better fall in line. Yeah. One thing I think is that I, I, I know, based on his last administration, that he does not want to harm the existing businesses in America. He's, he wants to help them. So if, if I had to guess, he's got a deeper plan on this. He made that statement to shot for shock and awe, and mm -hmm. then he's going to craft something that actually, hopefully, 
we will craft something that makes sense for everyone.